Welcome to our Student Ambassador Voice Television. I am your host, Estelan Archibek. I'm Teresa Greenfield. We are Student Ambassadors here at the Santa Fe Community College. We focus on getting students back to college and as well as helping other students getting prepared for college. We also help students stay enrolled in college when things get a little tough. We also uh, offer help, you know, for other students is like tutoring, financial resources, and as well as other resources that are helpful to other students. Today we're going to be talking with the ASL club and we have Ashley and Felicia with us. Um, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do? Hello, my name is Ashley and I'm hard of hearing myself. I was born and raised here in Santa Fe, New Mexico all my life. I recently graduated from high school in 2005 and now I'm here graduated last May in 2008 with a Associates in Applied Science. And I'm here today to <laughs> represent the Deaf Club. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. And Felicia? Hello, my name is Felicia. And I'm here because I'm part of this, the um, Senators Club and the ASL Club. I'm a senator. Um, I've lived here all my life. I came to the Santa Fe Community College in 2005 and I went back, I, I resigned from SFC, SFCC and went to IAI and now I am back at the Santa Fe Community College. Welcome. Um, so, how long have you both attended to the Community College? I don't know. This is my fourth year here. Fourth year. I'm working on my bachelor's and I'm hoping to transfer in the fall out of state to continue for my bachelor's in forensic chemistry and criminal justice with a minor in biology. So. Okay. I've been here for three years and then one year I was at IAIA and now I'm back here again. Great. Um, what positive challenges do you have here at the community college and what would you like to see change or? Well, honestly, as a hard of hearing student here, yeah, there are always challenges. And that's the good part. I mean, always challenges, we can't have life easy. You know what I mean? We always have to have challenges. Mm -hmm. um, I work with special services here on campus. I'm, I can honestly say that the program has improved. And I'm hoping to see more improvements, such as a contract with COPV and working, getting an interpreting coordinator here set up on campus. I think that would be great for future students coming in here. Yeah. Uh, my biggest challenge is that um, what I wanted to get through to what I wanted to come to classes for here. And I've joined the club and I really enjoy wor um, working with the students here. The students are very nice and friendly and they're very involved students. Um, it. Can you tell us a little bit about what the ASL club is about and what you offer to students here? Well, first off, we set up the ASL club because we want to represent to the community and college what we're about as a deaf community and hard of hearing students here. Um, we want to show people about the culture, background, where we come from, what we experience is. As a deaf and education, and education and we want, that's our like goal to get people to understand where we come from and to understand our perspective. Right? Yes. Great. What what type of programs or special services do your does your club offer or involve? We have. Well, we meet right now. We meet every week. Um, we just sit down, chat, sign, have fun. We're supposed to set up a video camera so we can start you know, putting down our minutes and how we have a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, we plan to have a workshop soon to explain the interpreting program and about us as deaf and hard of hearing students here. Um, you know, same with um, people like have poetry clubs or they express their poetry um, with workshops, you know. Um, we can, we'd like to express our ASL and show the community what it looks like. Same, same like, um, we'd like to, you know, translate poetry into ASL too and show the community what that looks like as well. Um, what would you like us to know um, about what it's like to be hard of hearing or deaf for that matter? You mean awareness? Mm -hmm. 
Definitely. Um, there's different meaning for different cultures. Like here in the world, you know how people say two people having a conversation, standing up, people walk in between, that's considered rude, right? Mm -hmm. In the deaf culture, you can have a conversation, talk, people can walk in, it's not rude at all, it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the same with a deaf person or a hard of hearing student. When we sign to another person, people tend to look at the interpreter rather than the deaf person themselves. And it really should not be that way. You have to look at them just like they were the one talking to you. Mm -hmm. It's just a sign of respect for each other. Yeah. And try to get, um, you know, we want equal accessibility. We'd like, to, we'd like um, equal education. We want to know what, you know, we want to, um, we don't want to be lower than the hearing people just because we can't hear. So we're trying to, t to set up a club to teach them that we're all equal. Um, so is, your, is it all year round? Is it one semester, two semesters that your program offers? Is there a certain guideline that you have to get involved or is it just a free for all club? It's included for all students who want to join. Whether they're hearing impaired or not. Yeah, it's hearing, hard of hearing, deaf, we welcome all. And the one who is really interested, who wants to learn sign, um, you know, they can meet the deaf students in class, but we've explained about that. But they can go to the meetings and the workshops and learn more about who we are and more about deaf people, not just by meeting them in class.